Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and welcome to Season 16 of Go Battle League. Over 150 Pokemon have received updates, and today I'm trying out one of my favorites, Breaking Swipe on Heliolisk. Heliolisk has an incredibly unique typing, it's an electric and normal type Pokemon, and even though it is a glassy Pokemon, being given access to Breaking Swipe, which lowers the opponent's attack, has really great synergy with its stats. I tested it out, pairing it up with a Deoxys and a Dugong, and honestly, even though it's early season, had great success going 13-2 with the team. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out the debuff machine that is Heliolisk. Picking up a tough lead in the first match, Deoxys into Frostlass. I save switch into Dugong. Opponent can pretty safely stay in here with the Frostlass and get some big chip damage with the Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball will connect. Opponent now going to send in Obstagoon, and this is exactly what I was hoping for. The goal of the Dugong save switch is to check and see if my opponent has any counter user lurking in the back, typically Metacham, but in this case Obstagoon. I can debuff its energy, bait it out, and that way let Heliolisk sweep in the endgame. And my opponent gives up a shield as well, so honestly, this is terrific for me. With this team, I'm typically going to be saving my shields for Heliolisk, as Heliolisk, being a breaking swipe debuff machine, has an absolutely cracked win rate in the twos. My opponent goes for the Obstruct, and now they're going for the Night Slash. They're able to make a last second Night Slash, and again, I'm still not going to be shielding here. I'm just going to be trusting in Heliolisk to win the game. I can go for a Psycho Boost into the Frost Ass when they bring it in, but they bring in a Pidgeot instead, and the unique typing of Heliolisk is about to sweep the end game. In comes Helio, farming up opponent is going to send in the Frostlass, but Frostlass is not going to appreciate this Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt from the Heliolisk gets the KO, back in comes the Pidgeot, but they only have flying moves. Heliolisk is very glassy, but I am able to withstand, and now I can make it to the back-to-back -back breaking swipes. Honestly, Thunderbolt would have KO'd here, but I was like, you know what, I have the new move, may as well test it out. Breaking swipe, KOs the Pidgeot. And that's a good game. We see the Dream Lead in the next match. Defense Deoxys into Shadow A Slash. Opponent save switches into Metacham, and this is one of the many reasons why I love running Defense Deoxys. Defense Deoxys is such a good core breaker for the Metacham plus Steel teams, and my opponent sending in Metacham here is exactly what I needed. My backline does not want to see Medi, whereas my backline can honestly do pretty okay against A Slash. I can either win switch or get a shield advantage, and either one sets me up to in a really good spot to get rid of the A Slash. They go for another Ice Punch. I'm looking to farm up and go for the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt will be lethal here. Opponent has a decision to make. They commit the shield. I farm up, switch into the Dugong, and I catch the Ice Punch. This is going to do absolutely nothing to the Dugong. They're hitting me for super effective with the counters, but that's fine. Even if they make it to a Psychic, I'm just going to no shield here. I'm perfectly fine with taking this. Opponent ends up going for an Ice Punch there. I'm going to be able to get the farm down. And I leave with energy. Drill Run hits for a super effective on the A Slash. They can't afford to send in the A Slash. So they send in their final Pokemon, which is Azumarill. And again, I've been able to save my two shields in this match for Helio and up a shield. Helio is just going to sweep this endgame. Helio in the twos is just an absolute force to be reckoned with. I'm able to land double drill runs. I'm going to switch into Deoxys, and the threat of reaching a Thunderbolt will force Azu to dump energy. Azu goes for the Ice Beam. And the nice thing is, is I can actually no shield the Ice Beam from the Azu because I'm in a position where their A Slash has zero fast move pressure. As a reminder, I have that normal subtyping here. So I'm going to get the farm down. Their Shadow Claws are double resisted, so they're just not going to be able to do much of anything. And now I can go for the Breaking Swipe. They no shield it, but I'm still in a great spot. I can just keep debuffing them until they commit the shield. They shield the Breaking Swipe, and now I can make it to the Thunderbolt. And it's all over for the A Slash as Thunderbolt gets the knockout. Picking up a decent lead in the next match, Defense Deoxys into Registeel. Opponent is going to save switch into Galissapod, and this is another reason why I really like running Heliolisk. Heliolisk, again, that normal subtyping coming in clutch, double resisting the Shadow Claws here. They go for the X Scissor, and I'm able to win CMP with the Breaking Swipe. Breaking Swipe into Galissapod will be shielded. Opponent trying to make a play for switch, but I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to commit the shield. I'm going to get the farm down, and I'm going to be in a really awkward health range for the Registeel to try and farm down. And now, I can start firing off Thunderbolts into the Registeel. Going for Thunderbolt number one, that is going to be no-shielded by the opponent. I'm farming up, I'm expecting they're probably going to shield this, so I decide to go for a bait. Bit of a 
risky bait here, honestly, by me, but it ends up paying off. They commit the shield. Heliolis dies with the Thunderbolt, but either way, I'm in a great spot as they have Golbat in the back, and honestly, I don't even need the Deoxys to win this game. I can just win this game with Dugong. They're going to fire off the Shadow Ball with the Golbat, and at this point, opponent recognizes that it's over, and they concede the match. Picking up a neutral lead in the next match, Defense Deoxys into Shadow Alola Ninetales. I'm gonna go for the Psycho Boost and Dip strategy, but my opponent will not let that happen without landing a Weather Ball first. Honestly, this is fine by me. I'm just gonna go for the Psycho Boost, and then Psycho Boost after that lands or gets a shield, I'm just gonna be safe switching. It actually connects, which is quite nice. A safe switch into Dugong. Opponent sends in Haxorus. Haxorus getting torn to shreds by Ice Shard. Haxorus, of course, is a counter user. I'm very happy to bait it out. The nice thing is Dugong actually has a massive amount of play here. I'm going to be firing off the Icy Wind. That's going to get the shield. My opponent will make another move, but again, I'm not going to be shielding. I'm baiting out the counter user and I'm saving shields for Heliolisk. This thing in the two shield is just a force to be reckoned with. In the back, it's Jellicent. I'm throwing the Psycho Boost just to stall the Switch Clock. And yet again, we're in for another Heliolisk sweep. In comes Heliolisk. They're forced to go for the Surf, and I know I can take a Surf. So I can just let this go. They can Shadow Ball. It's double resisted. Opponent sends in the Ninetales. Going for the charge move, but they let the Volt Switch go through. And now I can just shield once. Farm all the way down. And I'm in a great spot. They can never hex me down here. I have the normal subtyping. I can just Breaking Swipe until they shield, which they do. And we have the Thunderbolt loaded as well. Heliolisk, just a beast in these end games. It's frail. This thing is powerful. We see another fairy type in the next match, leading Deoxys into Charm Grand Bowl. I'm gonna be staying in here with the Deoxys. Looks like there's actually a little bit of desync to start the match, but I'm still going for the Psycho Boost and Dip strategy. That gets shielded by the Grand Bowl. I'm sending in Dugong opponent, now gonna send in Obstagoon. And you know what? I had to bait out the Obstagoon, so this is honestly not bad for me. I'm going to be firing off the Icy Wind into the Obstagoon. Obstagoon continuing to farm. They end up throwing on alignment, and I'm able to get an entire Ice Shard for free. Night Slash will connect. I've debuffed them once. Now I'm going for the Drill Run. Drill Run does more damage here, which is quite nice. Drill Run into the Obstagoon will be no shielded. This forces them to throw, and again, I'm not going to shield. I baited out the Obstagoon. That was the goal of the Dugong. Opponent gets the boost, but it does not save them. And I'm able to win Switch with a sliver of HP. In comes the Deoxys. Opponent makes it to the Crunch, and I'm going to be shielding here. Normally, I like saving shields for Helio, but I would take a lot of charm damage there. So I'm going to shield and go for the Psycho Boost. Psycho Boost gets the final shield, and now I'm down to send in Helio. My opponent has no shields remaining. They do make the last second charge move, though. They're probably going for the Crunch, hoping for the debuff onto Helio. They get the debuff, but it's Politoed in the back, and this game is over. I can go for the Breaking Swipe. And the Politoed concedes the match. We've got more fairy types on the lead in the next match, leading Defense Deoxys into Alolan Ninetales. Let's check the fast move. This Ninetales is running Charm. Definitely not my favorite move set to see, just because Charm does apply a lot of pressure onto the Glassy Mon in the back, which is Heliolisk. So I'm going to overfarm quite a bit, go for the Thunderbolt, and honestly in this game, I feel like I should have just gone for the Psycho Boost and switch out sooner, because as you're going to see, I'm going to end up needing my Deoxys. They're now going to send in Obstagoon, and now my Deoxys is in the red health, so my Deoxys cannot effectively get rid of the counter user, so by staying in too long in that neutral lead, I've now put myself in a potentially losing position. Icy Wind will connect my opponent with the perfect overfarm, they're not going to let me reach the draw run and make a play for switch. Night Slash will get the KO. I'm going to send in Deoxys. I'm forced to go for the Psycho Boost before they're able to make it to the Night Slash there. Psycho Boost is resisted, but it will be enough to KO. And now in comes the Ninetales. I switch in the Heliolisk in the back. It's a Metacham. That's one of the few things Heliolisk cannot two-shield through. And I resign the match. Great lead in the next match. Defense Deoxys into Bastiodon. Opponent save switches into Metacham. And people on day one already breaking out the Metacham plus Steel Cores, and Deoxys is having a field day. Deoxys goes for the Thunderbolt, and again, my backline can do okay against Bastiodon. Ideally, I would want it on the Dugong, 
as of course the Heliolisk, the Breaking Swipe's not going to be doing a lot against the Steel Subtyping. They're going to be firing off the Ice Punch with the Metacham, and I'm looking to farm up with the Deoxys. Deoxys now going for the Psycho Boost. Psycho Boost will, of course, debuff my attack by two stages. Psycho Boost will be shielded. I'm going to look to over farm, and again, we catch an Ice Punch onto Dugong. Being able to successfully execute this play is a truly terrific feeling, because Metacham, normally, it's a good matchup for them, but they are just in a world of hurt, because that Ice Punch just did absolutely nothing. They go for the Psychic. I get the farm down, bring in that Bastion on. I've got some double super effective drill runs. They bring in the Bastion on, but they switch. What did they catch? They catch the drill run onto a Sableye. Okay. I'm going for the Icy Wind here. Honestly, I probably should have gone for the drill run as it does more, but Icy Wind ends up getting the shield, so it ends up working out. And now I'm going to send in Helio, farming up energy, switching into Deoxys, and the threat of a Thunderbolt forces them to throw their energy. They're going to go for the foul play. That will KO. And now Helio, up two shields, is going to win CMP versus the Sableye. Breaking swipe, KOs. And now it's Helio versus Bastiodon. Bastiodon, of course, one of the tankiest Great League Pokemon. Heliolisk, one of the glassiest. But now I have the advantage of shields and Breaking Swipe. Breaking Swipe, of course, will get that ever-important attack drop, making these Smackdowns do less damage. And now I need to make two Thunderbolts here. Bastiodon looking for the farm down, but Heliolisk will not be denied, making it to the Thunderbolt, taking out the Bastiodon, and securing the win. Picking up a pretty okay lead in the next match, defense the Oxus into Pelipper. But I have two better responses in the back, so I'm going to safe switch into Dugong, and my opponent is going to send in Registeel. I'm farming up with the Dugong, and I'm going for the Drill Run. Drill Run, of course, will hit for super effective damage onto the Regi. Drill Run will be no-shielded by my opponent. They can hit for super effective as well, but I'm able to survive a Zap Cannon. Zap Cannon will connect, Dugong hangs on, and doesn't get debuffed. This Drill Run should just about KO the Regi. This will come down to Regi IVs. I'm firing off the Drill Run. Opponent lets it go, and on 1 HP, they make the last second move. I realize I probably need Switch, so I end up committing the shield. Opponent sends in the Pelipper, but now I can put Helio on the Pelipper in the back. Oh no, it's Galarian Stunfisk. So the opponent, Stunfisk absolutely destroys Heliolisk. So I did need Switch advantage, but down a shield, this is honestly not a great spot for Deoxys to be in either. Deoxys forced to go for the double resisted Thunderbolt as I don't want to lower my counter damage just yet. No shields remaining, so this Earthquake is guaranteed to land, which is not ideal for me. I'm going to look to farm up, and now I'm going for the double Psycho Boost. Psycho Boost number one into the Stunfisk. Opponent is going to let that through. Switch timer not yet up, and I'm forced to fire off the boost. This boost is debuffed, but my opponent will commit the shield. In comes Helio. Helio cannot make it to the Breaking Swipe. And this is the danger of Heliolisk. If it doesn't have shields, it is so frail. Weather Ball does a lot of damage. And I am firing off the Breaking Swipe. Breaking Swipe into the Pelipper. Gets the shield. It's the CMP tie with the debuff. I should survive this. But can I live the wing attacks? That wing attack is going to KO. And the Deoxys will get outpaced. So a close game there. But that goes to show Heliolisk definitely does want shields in the endgame. Hopping into the final match, we've got the Android Game Booster menu popping up as we lead into a massive core breaker, Defense Deoxys, into Galvantula. The nice thing is I'm able to outpace. A lot of Galvs like to shield the first move, but I'm still just going straight for the Psycho Boost. Opponent lets it go. That's actually good for me. I try and catch a lunge. They're going to bank a ton of energy, and they're going to send in a Zoomeril. I'm actually going for the Icy Wind first, as Icy Wind will guarantee that I can survive multiple play refs here and potentially even stall out the switch timer because ideally, I would love to kind of store energy and then move Pokemon around in and out of play. So that way, hopefully, I can eventually get rid of this Galvantula. This Galvantula is going to be a problem. I fire off the Drill Run into the Azu. I'm continuing to farm, and they're making it to another Play Rough. My Switch Timer is coming up soon. Play Rough will connect. I'm just looking to farm up. I can now switch. In comes the Deoxys. Opponent sends in the Galvantula, but they don't go for the lunge. I'll be able to force a shield with the Psycho Boost, and they're going to have to throw two charge moves to KO here. Lunge is not going to be enough to KO. I'm just going to let this go. I just want them to waste their energy, and they do exactly that, going for the back-to-back -back lunges. So I fully sacrificed the Deoxys, but I have saved my shields, and we've already seen what shield advantage Heliolisk can do in the endgame here. The Azu did leave with energy, 
and they send it back in. But if you're sending in a water into an electric type, you are letting me know that you very well could be weak. I commit the shield, look for the farm down, and get the farm down. Whatever's in back, it's getting debuffed, and it's a Noctowl opponent still using Noctowl after the nerf. They shield the breaking swipe, and now it is Thunderbolt time. Thunderbolt, big damage onto Noctowl. Noctowl is fully walled by Heliolisk, but they're not going to get the chance to throw the move. With that nerfed pacing, they're going to get outpaced, and that is a good game. All in all, I had a ton of fun getting to run Heliolisk. This thing gets the breaking swipes incredibly quickly. It's three to the first, and then after that, it's basically just two volt switches per breaking swipe, and a breaking swipe every 10 turns is pretty crazy. This thing is glassy. As I mentioned, it's something you're definitely going to want to keep shields for, but man, it can be a fun closer, and its unique typing is something that a lot of teams end up being weak to. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is sincerely appreciated. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.